a lot of people ask me, why do people promote automatic balancing valves and PICV valves? Well, this particular setup on this coil has a really good quality two-way characterized ball temperature control valve right there. It's tied into a manual balancing valve right there. We have 10 pounds of pressure and we have it balanced about 2 GPM. I'm going to close the valve a little bit and we're going to watch what happens with the flow. Okay, we can see the valve closing. I'm going to come down to the flow meter. Remember, we started about two gallons a minute. All right, the valve is still closing, and you can see it's doing its job. And I'm going to stop it at about a gallon a minute. So right now, what we're simulating is uh, on a hot day, chilled water system is running, and inside the space, the thermostat senses that we don't need. Uh, you know, full amount of chilled water so it's closing off the valve. Okay, there we go. I just flicked the switch. So we got about a gallon a minute. Temperature control valve is now about 50% throttle. And everything looks pretty stable. Now, let's simulate what happens in the system when the pressures rise. All right. We now have 20 pounds differential. And we have more than a gallon a minute. I'm going to take it up to 25. It's 25 pounds differential. And the water flow has even risen more. All right. 30 pounds differential. And you can see we started at one gallon a minute, and now we have about a gallon and a half. So even though we have a really good quality temperature control valve, when it's tied into a manual balancing valve and there's changes in the pressure, you're going to have changes in flow. And that creates inefficiencies in the system.